This is Steve and Josh Ward. Hello, Hello Texas. Texas. Hello, Texas. I'm a photographer living right smack dab in the middle of Texas amongst some of the greatest music in America. If you turn on the radio today to listen to one of the big country radio stations, what you're hearing is not really country. I'm not sure what it is, and some of it's really good, but it's hard to find real country music these days. So today, I'm going to tell you about five artists that are keeping real country music alive. If this is your first time to the episode of The Five, just some reminders. This isn't necessarily a ranking. There are a lot of artists I don't know, and a whole lot more that I'll overlook. And, as always, no wagering. These are the guys that could play in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, and nobody would blink. They appeal to the kids as much as they appeal to the grandparents. Some do it with their songwriting, some do it with their attitude. Sometimes being cutting edge means going back to your roots. And you could two-step to it. Number one, Zane Williams. Zane is one of the friendliest guys on the circuit. Note to self, make a list of the five friendliest guys on the circuit. And with Zane, for me, it's the songwriting. He knows country music as much as anyone, and he can write a song playing Scrabble. And he may have. Seriously, if you don't know the story, Zane used to have people on Facebook send him random words, and he used to pick five to write a song from. Five good number. He'd take those five words and he'd make up a song. Some of them were good, but then he wrote Jaden and Jill. Number one hit. And one of my favorites. I mean, look at the hat. I'm pretty sure that's a hat from my buddy Cameron Morris at Standard Hat Works in Waco. And if we're talking authentic, that's a whole nother list. Note to self, make a list of authentic Texas things. Zane writes real, honest country music every time. He's believable, he's polite, and he's real. You know what I mean by real, right? Right. It's you growing up while I was away. Number two, Cody Johnson. I mention Cody and his band every week, but how can I not put them on this list? I mean, 40 years from now, when he's doing his Hall of Fame tours, if somebody comes across this video, they're going to go, what the hell, Steve? Why wasn't he on the list? And they're right, but I've watched Cody for the last six years, and fame has not changed him at all. He hasn't bowed down to record companies or ignored any of his original fans, which I've seen others do. I mean, it's really easy with the demands and the money. But if you go back and watch a show from six years ago and compare it with the show today, it's the same show, just more songs and bigger crowds. Seriously, my mom knows who Cody Johnson is now. Number three, Jake Worthington. This kid from The Voice isn't just from The Voice anymore. He's turning out hit after hit, and pretty soon everybody's going to know about him. This is my personal plea to Jake and his band to come to town. Jake doesn't look like that anymore. He's slimmed up. He's leaner and meaner. I got to see him a couple years ago, and he's just gotten better since. He's got that voice that's like butter, or maybe it's steak sauce. You know, that condiment that makes everything better. That's Jake Worthington. Number four, Randall King. The dude can belt out a Keith Whitley song like nobody else. With Randall, he's capable of doing that rock song and doing a backflip off the drum kit. But then he can belt out that 90s ballad and make all the girls cry. Or swoon, whichever. And the way he delivers those words is as authentic as anybody in America. He's a student of the music that got him here. He's like a bull rider that just had the time of his life getting bumped off and then he tries to climb back on. Number five. I can't do five. It's going to be six. Five A. It's my list. I break the rules. Sue me. Mike and the Moon Pies. Their new album, State Night at the Prairie Rose, is awesome. 
but everything they do is authentic country music. Beaches of Biloxi, Smoke em If You Got Em. Hell, one of my favorite songs is called Country Music Is Dead, featuring my buddy John Bauman. Lead singer Mike Harmier. Har Harmier? Har Mike Harmier. We'll go with that. He grew up in honky tonks. Just listen to Steak Night at the Prairie Rose and you'll hear that story. And you can hear it in his voice and his songwriting. I bet that album would sound cool on an 8-track. Did I just date myself? You know what an 8-track is, right? It's this thing between an album and cassettes that... Never mind. Number five, B, maybe the most authentic of all, Josh Ward. I mean, just look at the guy. He looks authentic. He sounds authentic. He is authentic. He couldn't sing a fake country song if he tried. It's been really fun watching Josh go from a broke down van to the tour bus and really kind of own Texas music charts with his traditional country. If Josh's kind of country is going to the number one spot every time, then I think we'll survive this bro country trend just fine. You don't know what I'm talking about when I say country music. Go listen to Josh Ward. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's it. That's my five, six artists that are keeping country music alive. And there's a lot more. You tell me who I miss. I already know I miss some. And let me know what list you'd like to see coming up. We were going to do a different list tonight, but we're still working out those kinks. Maybe next week. From the Hello Texas studio, I'm Steve. So long, Texas.